Hello again, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. Youngstown Fire Chief says a Dollar Tree on the west side is a total loss after part of the building had to be demolished earlier just to put the fire out. Firefighters spent all afternoon trying to get to the fire, first dealing with blinding smoke and then a building that didn't want to let it out. The West Side Dollar Tree Fire, it's our top story at 10. The Dollar Tree in Mahoning Avenue is across from West Side Merchants. When we arrived shortly after it started around 1 p.m., there was smoke everywhere as firefighters worked on the right corner of the building. And the fire started in the back right corner where they keep most of their paper goods in storage. Uh, still not sure how it started. Uh, the employees and uh, yeah, the employees saw the fire before the, the fire alarm actually went off. Twice, firefighters entered the building to get to the fire, but had to pull everybody out. We got inside about 40 feet. We probably needed to go about 80 feet, and it was just so dark in there. The way this building's built with, uh, it's just basically a steel frame, almost like an airplane hangar. Two hours after the fire started, to ventilate the building and get to the fire, a backhoe was brought in and the entire right rear corner of the building torn apart. Firefighters could then get water inside and put it out. Uh, after that long a fire in there with the metal roof above us, we weren't sure we could send guys in there and find it, first of all. So the only way we could really find it and get it opened up was to tear the side off. Mahoning Avenue between Bon Air and Rhoda was closed for about four hours. The building that housed the Dollar Tree had a few windows and a door out front and a couple of smaller doors on the sides and back, none of which were conducive to ventilation during a fire. Yeah, that's one thing about these kind of buildings, and it wasn't sprinkled because it's just under the uh, size that needs to be sprinkled. So, yeah, all those building considerations. Now, the fire chief had no dollar estimate on the damage. There were around 15 customers and five employees in the Dollar Tree when it started. No one was hurt.